So today, the RPCSX UI emulator has finally gotten a huge update and trust me, this one is the most biggest update I've ever seen. They fixed a bunch of bugs, improved performance and compatibility and the craziest part is that God of War 3 is now fully playable on Android. That is right, you can actually run it on your Android phone without facing an error. And the best part is, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to download install and start playing ps3 games right on your android device so without much ado let's get started but before we jump into the tutorial do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you don't miss out any of my new emulator updates and setup guides your support really helps the channel and keep me motivated to drop more content like this so go ahead and subscribe to my channel just do it now all right so if you are new to this whole thing the rpcsx ui emulator is basically like the android version of the popular rpcss3 emulator on pc which is the main PlayStation 3 emulator for PC. But this version, it is built specifically for Android, meaning you can take the full PS3 experience wherever you go. And with these new updates, everything just feels smoother, games load faster, the graphics look better, and overall performance has improved at tons. You will definitely notice the difference once you start playing games with it. Now, in this video, I'll walk you through the full setup how to download and install and get your PS3 games running perfectly on your Android device. I will also show you a few quick settings to make your gameplay even smoother. So grab your phone and let's get straight into it. Okay, so finally we are here for the installation of the emulator. So um, to install the emulator, there is going to be a link under this video description. So all what you have to do is just open your browser and then open the link it should take you to this section of the page so as you can see in this session i have the rpcsx ui by dh so this particular version of the rpcsx ui emulator is what we are going to install so when you scroll down here you should see the release dates of the emulator as you can see here it says two days ago and i don't know the kind of dates that you are going to watch this video so it's going to be different as as it showed two days ago here maybe if you are watching the video in the near future the release date is going to change so here just grab the emulator just press on the emulator and download just press on it and then press on download as you can see i've already downloaded the emulator so there won't be any need for me to download it again so i'll just press cancel for you just download the emulator after that what you are going to need next is a ps3 firmware or a ps3 firmware file so to get that just open your browser and then type in ps3 firmware pressing this one ps3 firmware so just pressing this one and then the first result should be under the playstation so just press on this and then visit the website of the playstation so visit the playstation website now here here like this so using chrome just press these three dots over here and then scroll down and make sure you enabled enable desktop sites make sure this one is enabled just stick in enable desktop site now here like this scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down until you see um until you see the how to update ps3 system software until you see this session so on this this session just press on update using computer just press on this update using computer so just press on update using computer just press on this and then you should see something like download ps3 updates you should see something like this download ps3 update now this is the firmware and we are going to download it and to do that just long press the download ps3 firmware update and then you select on download link you select on this one which says download link select this one and then just press on keep and then you should start downloading as you can see the firmware file is downloading 
I've already downloaded the firmware the firmware file so there won't be any need for me to download it again so um, after getting all the files you should see something like this you should see something like this so this is the firmware file this is how the firmware file is going to is going to look so now what you are going to do next is we are going to install the emulator as you can see this is the emulator that we downloaded so all what you are going to do is just press on it press install after that just press on open allow so here it will start downloading some files over here as you can see it says it's downloading rpcsx version blah 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 am um, v8 dash a so wait for it to finish with whatever it is doing at this session or at this stage So after it has finished doing whatever it is doing, then you should see a pop-up or you should see this. After that, just press on update. So here it says enable um, permission record, enable install, blah, blah, blah. Just press on OK. And then make sure you take in this. Come back. Press OK. And then press on continue installing after that open it so um you are done installing the rpcss3 emulator now what's next is how to install the firmware remember we downloaded a firmware from playstation website so um to install the firmware press on this tray thread thing over here and then tapping on the firmware then you select the folder that contains your downloaded firmware file so um so this is this is this is my firmware file i mean this is the firmware file that i downloaded so locate the file you downloaded and then after that just press on it as you can see it is installing So here you can see the version of the firmware. I have firmware version 4.91 and this is the latest version of the firmware. So um, let it finish with the installation or let it finish doing whatever it is doing on this, this page. So let it finish doing. Come here like this. I mean to install games or to make your games appear at this session. Come to the home screen and then as you can see this plus icon over here just tap on this and then tap on this folder folder thing over here and then select the folder that contains your ps3 games files or your ps3 game files or ps3 games roms so here i have a game inside this folder which is god of War 3 so um inside the folder i mean inside the folder that contains your ps3 games so just just press this just press this when you are inside the folder so just press this just press this one we say use this folder after that press on allow so as you can see this is my game and i have god of war 3 and it is showing here meaning i'm able to you know play the game whenever i like or whenever i want so um so let me guide you on how to quickly set up something small that will make you play games faster now press here go to the system side and then when you are here go to the um go to the advanced settings press on video and then make sure 
this one is turned on right color buffer make sure this one is turned on and then come down like this and then with the resolution scale with this one resolution scale press on it set it to 70 set it to 50 60 70 so i'll go with 63 or 64 after that just press on okay so now we are done with the installation of the boat firmware and also um the games so for those of you who have custom gpu drivers and you want to use it for this emulator just come here go to the set settings section then clicking on the custom gpu which is this one press it and then as you can see it is on default so to install your custom gpu just press on this plus sign here and then locate select this press ok and then locate the folder that contains your custom gpu driver so um i have snapdragon 8 l8 and i have this latest version of the gpu driver extracted from game hope so um as you can see i've installed the driver and it is inactive so thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you see you next time